Papaya is a universal necessity. It has existed on this planet as one of the most important elements for millions of years. But the story of its discovery is not the same as its existence. Fire may terrify us sometimes, but it is indeed the greatest discovery made by humanity. We do deserve to know how it was introduced into our everyday living and for that reason today we are going to dive into that topic. The earliest evidence of fire dates back to more than 400 million years ago which means we never discovered or invented fire, we only learned how to tame it. Fires were a natural phenomenon back then. A lightning bolt hitting dry marshy bushes could have easily started a forest fire of some sort. Even a volcanic eruption would have been a really good example of fire existing before our distant ancestors. We all know to start a fire we need oxygen, a fuel and a heat source and the carboniferous period had it all. Atmospheric oxygen during that period hit a record high of 31% and plants spread across the supercontinent Pangaea and from the charcoal records it suggests a lot of fire activity during that period. Therefore, the discovery of fire is basically the time our ancient ancestors learned to tame it or control it. The first stage of human interaction with fire was perhaps as early as 1.5 million years ago when hominins started moving to the grasslands and began to further diverge from their ape relatives where they likely would have also encountered wildfires with far more regularity. By 800,000 years ago, the species that had discovered fire were already familiar with it but learned to use it to their benefits only by 400,000 years ago. This new tool helps them with cooking and even kept them warm and away from predators. Evolutionists also theorize that over time, pre-humans may have also learned how to make primitive fires using sticks and flint. So who was the species that first learned about fire and what it can do? It was the Homo erectus. They lived throughout the Pleistocene period from about 1.9 million years ago to most recently 143,000 years ago. Studies proved that Homo erectus originated in Africa and spread through India, China, Georgia and even Java. Fire is ephemeral, so tracking its existence is pretty challenging. Ash gets carried away by wind or water and fire gets put off. Therefore, researchers had to just connect the dots. They had to create a connection between the burnt floors or baked earth created by fire at a particular site to the fossil remains of the human species found in the nearby areas. Evidence of fire use found in Wonderwork Cave in South Africa suggested that it might have been the Homo erectus because the tools found there were related to the ones built by them. However, the evidences of fire found in the Lake Takana region of Kenya led to the conclusion that control use of fire dates back to millions of years ago but that does not necessarily mean they learned the art of cooking at the time. Clear evidence of habitual use of fire though comes from caves in Israel dating back between 400,000 and 300,000 years ago and include the repeated use of a single hearth in Qasem cave even indicating they roasted meat and fossil remains found belonged to Homo sapiens and the Neanderthals. So why did they say that Homo erectus were the first to use fire? Firstly. From their fossils, it was evident that they had smaller teeth which kind of gave a somewhat vague evidence that they didn't have to put so much of hard work into chewing, which means they actually cooked their food to make it more tender and easier to chew unlike the other species who had bigger teeth for tearing raw flesh. They might have liked their food red and raw as there was information that there were traces of vitamin A poisoning due to the excess consumption of animal liver but they got out of that eventually. Secondly, we need to understand that when you move away from a hot place, you will need something to keep you warm. And since Homo erectus were the first to migrate out of Africa, they obviously needed that. Although there were areas with uncomfortable weather but no signs of fire which means they adapted differently like clothing or shelter. So it is hard to understand how fire spread through our history and its role and timeline in evolution because its origin is puzzling and full of contradictions. 
but overall Faya has played a major role in transforming human diet and apart from its major impact on environments it has become socially embedded even to the point of having religious significance but archaeologists have yet to ascertain when in our early prehistory fire became part of the human toolkit so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed the video for any suggestions on what type of video you want to see next from us, just drop in a comment in the comment section below and do not forget to support us by hitting like and subscribe. And don't ever forget that now we may have matches and lighters, but what led to what we have now is all because of the first fire.